Edge, are you mad at me? No, that's not it. It's just, well, it's a bit of a shock. Seeds of hope, huh? That's what they called us. They were counting on us to bring hope and happiness to mankind, but I hate it. I hate what it's given me. Raimi. Back when I was little, some of my friends took me to play in one of the forbidden areas. We didn't think much of it. But... We were contaminated. All of us. Irradiated so badly we had no hope. My friends all died in terrible pain from the contamination. But... This power of mine... It just refused to let me die. The adults all blamed me. Said it was my fault. She's a monster, they said. She's not human. Raimi, stop. Why the hell did you survive? You should have died like them, screaming in pain. That's enough. But then... Mom and Dad told me the truth. They told me, It's okay. You're going to bring happiness to us all. But how? Who could I possibly make happy? Someone like me. Someone who can live without a care in the world. Raimi. Edge. Raimi, you make me happy just by being alive. And I know Crow would say the same. My power isn't anything special at all. But... You're different. Everyone suffering from stone sickness here will get the medicine they need... ...because of what you've done. So please... ...stop looking so sad. You can accomplish something. I know it. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. Sooner or later, the old edge will come back. <sighs> You've never... done anything wrong. I'm sorry. I do need more time. But... Thank you. I feel a little better. Don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. Moo! Welcome everybody to Star Ocean. The Last Hope, part number 34. I'm Cow's Crazy. I cut that cutscene in half because it was so long. And, um, so now we know the secret behind these three kindred spirits. And, um, I think it's still nighttime. I think something happens if we go outside. It's really dark out there. Oh, yeah, here we go.
Huh? <laughs> hey, man. Nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know. You think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That sword of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? <laughs> Why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? How about you hand that thing over? Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look. This sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. What? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly respect it. Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over. Yeah. Ugh. You little bastard! <laughs> Who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little... All right, that's it. You're gonna die, man! Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot-free. Well, well. Fate connects us, boy. You... you're... Muria Tionesis. Not that you need remember, of course. Ah, uh, no. Thank you very much, Muria. This is the second time you've saved me. I don't know about the Cardianon, but you don't seem like the sort that would have trouble with mere hooligans. Well, I, uh... But that's beside the point. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, boy. I never imagined I'd run into you here, of all places. What luck. Um, and what is it you want to ask me? I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes. And I thought you might have some idea of where I might find him. The man I seek was on a ship that looks much like yours. What? As I recall, he wore clothes much like yours as well. Oh. I believe he's an Earthling, just like you. An Earthling with red hair. What? And I tell you this, boy. He will die by my hand. Crow? Wh why would you want to... Oh? So it's Crow, is it? The name of the man I'm going to kill. Tell me, boy. Where can I find him? I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Hmm. Your eyes were so lifeless when you fought those thugs. Who would have guessed they could show such fire? But I honestly wonder. Would you still look at me that way if you knew what the red-haired man did to me? What did he... What did Crow do to you? He... He killed my beloved. That wretched man destroyed my life. Nonsense. <sighs> what makes you so sure, boy? Because Crow's my best friend! Look, I may not be able to believe in myself right now. But I still believe in Crow. Uh. Crow would never do anything to hurt anyone. He's incapable of it. 
I don't understand you. You believe in that man more than you believe in yourself? What are you saying? <sighs> Not just him. All of my friends. Right now, they're all I have to believe in. No matter what you say, boy, I can only believe what I've seen with my own eyes. I despise the red-haired man, and I will exact my revenge on him. Muria! Once my business on this planet is finished, I think I'll have to follow you. If you believe in this man so much, boy, then I have no doubt you'll eventually lead me to him. This hour? What is it? It's Sarah! She's like, disappeared! Oh, so Sarah's... What? What in the...? It wasn't me, really. I mean, sure, sometimes I may drool a little, but still. Mary, um... How about you, Raimi? Are you feeling better? Yes, I'll be fine. I'm more worried about Sarah right now. Sari... She got kidnapped. Forgive me. I should have had my anti-personnel sensors activated. It's okay. Everyone was tired yesterday. Speaking of everyone, where's FaZe? He's out gathering information. I suspect this involves the men who assaulted Miss Sarah. Bacchus's instincts would seem to be accurate. Did you find something? Yes. The man who found this feather claims to have witnessed several people carrying Sarah away late last night. From his description, the perpetrators sound exactly like the men from last time. What? Raimi has recovered, but final authority now lies with you, Edge. Oh. We have to find Sarah. She's one of us now. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Raimi recovered and we joined the party. It's a party. It's a party. So that's a lot of information there to start off this episode. Um, they are the children of light. Uh, Boobies is on this planet. She wants to kill Crow. Sarah's been kidnapped. Wow, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? How are we gonna find her? I don't no, but I'm sure we have plenty of time to find her and that no bad will come of her. She will be just fine wherever she is because we have plenty of time to side quest. Yes, it's time for side quests. <laughs> so let's uh, head outside. There's a lot of side quests you can accept right now. Finish? I don't think so, but you can at least have them. Why are they targeting Sarah of all people? Well, let's worry about that later. Right now, we have to find her. Yes, right now, you do have to find her. Um, but that probably won't come for a few episodes, because like I said, we have side questing to do. Okay, um, let's see. Who do we want to talk to first? Is it you? It might be you. No, it's not you. Huh? Yeah, you. Bring me ten. Oh, you're somebody else. 
bring me 10 Patreon droppings. Droppings? The entire, the entire city is abuzz with stories about how healthy certain components of the dung can be for your skin. I'm not going to miss the boat on this one, let me tell you. Go get some of those droppings for me immediately. Y yes ma'am. Oh, wow. Uh, ew, we gotta go get droppings? Okay, well, that's kind of a side quest I was looking for, but it wasn't a person I was looking for. Maybe it's you? No, it's still not you. A knight must pledge an absolute obedience to his king. I'm glad ours is a pretty nice guy, though. It's a n -n nice bonus. Yes, it is. Is it you? You look sad, right? Yes, yes, he definitely looks sad. It's gotta be this guy. No, no, it's a sickly mother. <laughs> It'd be nice if my daughter came around to see me <coughs> now and then. Yeah, probably would. Guess what, she's not gonna. Is it you sitting? No, there's two of them. It's gotta be you. Yes, the careless shopkeeper. You are who I was looking for. Uh, now where'd it go? Um, where did what go, man? Well, getting kind of sick and being dark, darkened and seas. So I figured I ought to open the store again. Uh huh. But I misplaced the key somewhere, and so now it's like a oh, crud, you know. I really need to make some money too. Or I'm gonna be in deep doo doo. Well, things are that bad. Maybe we could help you search for it. Do you have any idea where you may have lost it? Oh, really? You you do that for me? Well, I was at the bar in Tatroy last night. I remember up to that point where I threw a towel at the barkeeper. But after that, anyways, it's probably there, huh? All right. But if you do that. Why didn't you just go there yourself? That's a damn fine question. Hehe. <laughs> oh, come on, it won't kill you. I mean, you're the one who made the offer, aren't you? Real men don't welch on their promises, you know. Good luck out there, boy. Huh? So, basically, people just try to get me to do things? So, that's one. Um. That's one thing right there. There's. Where's the. One of these little girls? Is it you? No, that's a lively girl. Woo woo woo. Okay, is it you? No, hold on. Hold on. You're woo woo woo? Hold on. Then is it you? Teary. Yes, okay, I was talking to the wrong one the whole time. Teary eyed girl. <laughs> Sniff. What's up with this girl? Talk to her. Why don't you just go talk to her? Talk to her. Talk to her. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Stop! Well, hi. It'll be alright, okay? Just take your time and tell me what's wrong. A music box? Can you fix it? It's mine, but it's broken. Can you do anything with this, Bacchus? We'd just have to get it playing again. This is certainly within my capability. I will handle this. Really? I'll be waiting here, okay? Thank you, Super Giant Man. <laughs> Super Giant Man. So we got a broken mu music box. Understood. That's our Bacchus. Super Giant Man. That, that's a new one. So, yeah, if you bring that back to the ship, I believe in item creation, you can fix it if you have the correct parts. I hope. Um, hopefully we do. Um... You just need a repair kit. Now, where's the next one here? Mm, okay, I've done that. Um, so, yeah, on my list here, I'm trying to go down where all the side quests are. I don't know if I'm going to complete them all now, but I'm definitely going to try to complete as many as I can. Not in this episode, but over the course of the game or the next couple of episodes. Um. Okay, we gotta head to the castle for the next side quest, the next important one. You wanna pick them up so you have them in your inventory. Is there a place where they actually go and look? Data, data maybe. 
quests, yes. You can look at all your quests here. Uh, there, there would have to be, yes. So, those are the ones you have not completed. Leg Collector. He wants to examine the local insect legs. Oh, wow. Well, well, that one's probably not going to get co completed. I, I missed out on Leg Collector. Whoopsie doodle. If you come back into the castle... Um... Wow, the throne room's right on the first floor. How do we get upstairs? It's on the right. We are looking for a specific guard, and I know he's upstairs. That's just a maid, right? You wouldn't be a guard, would you? No, it's faithful, certain. It's an honor to meet the great hero of our nation, sir. But oh, I think we've already met before. I work as a servant in the castle. I just moved here from the countryside, so I've still got a lot to learn, but I'm giving this job everything I've got. Anything you need, just let me know. Oh, thanks. I don't need anything right now, other than... Oh, okay, there's two people in the corner. One of these has got to be the guard. The shrewd guard. These are the king's quarter. He may seem like a laid-back kind of guy, but he's actually very ex 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 uh, extracting and methodical in his daily work. He refuses to let servants clean his chambers and even organizes all the furniture and everything himself. It's very thorough indeed. Well, wow, it sounds a little OCD. It's got to be this guy. What's he looking at the wall for? Hey! Don't stand behind me like that! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kid. Keeping the castle safe. <laughs> if I wasn't spacing out earlier, then that black eagle bandit wouldn't have gone and stolen all my stuff. He took my clothing, my money, even the picture of my daughter Drew. E oh, m the picture not of my daughter that my daughter Drew. Yeah, okay, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> even since then, I've been on guard for every little thing. I, I see. You, you don't sound too impressed. Wait, are you the Black Eagle in disguise? I'm placing you under arrest. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, hold on. Aren't you supposed to give me a quest? Ah, oh, he struck again. My precious, precious treasure has been stolen. Please, you've got to get my precious, precious doll back from me. Doll? What kind of a doll is it? It's a carrot. A carrot? Please. Don't ask about that. The culprit looked like a huge bodyguard. He stunk of alcohol, too. That's all I can say for sure. But please, you're my only hope here. We'll do our best. Guess we should try hitting up anyone who looks big and threatening, for starters. The stray carrot. So it's a carrot he seeks. Um. Yeah. We're gonna have to try to find a carrot. Back to Tatroy we go, where we will definitely fulfill the order of the silk. Remember we bought all that silk? Was it silk or was it wool? I think it was silk. It was one of them. We're gonna fulfill that order and um, make all that money. Been a very cutscene heavy couple of episodes though. Man alive, you're amazing. That match floored me. It just just absolutely floored me. So young and already a champion. Crazy. Huh? A ship fair? Oh come on. Couldn't ask the greatest champion in all the land for a ship fair. You can have a lift anytime, alright? What do you think? Wanna take a trip to Tatroy? So basically, now we get free boating experience because we're a champion in all the land. Alright, so we already talked to this dude, right? Let's just confirm we did. Um, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Why did I ever set sail that day? So that's a quest we can get from this guy. Now, there's also... I don't remember where the bookstore is. <laughs> there's another quest we got to try to get. Where 
is the bookstore and we also want one of the item shops is it this one I forget which item shop it is love song accessories no this is this is not it this is definitely not it wrong place I'm sorry sir I am in the wrong spot um what exactly is this? It's not an outdoor thing, I don't think. Cheerful girl. No. Yeah, it's... That's just good grocers. No, no, no. You're not it, either. Maybe it's back at the... Oh, well, there's the bookstore. Well, maybe it's the one down... No, no, this is the bar. That's... That's... Right? Oh, this is the bar, and then there's another. There's a shop upstairs. Is there a shop upstairs? It's heading the bar, I guess. Gotta find this place. Roomy. Oh, this isn't the bar. Roomy Foods. Ed's Weapons. Okay, this isn't it either. I've been here. I should have remembered this. I swear this was the bar. I don't know where the bar is now. To the bar! Where is the bar? Alright, so if it's not that, it has to be one of these at the bottom. I know what I'm looking for. If we get there. If I ever see the name of it, no, it's not Tools or Us either. Maybe I have forgotten the name of it. I thought I'd know it when I saw it. Maybe I don't. Just none of these feel correct. Is it you? Oh, yeah, this is the black hat material type. So here we go. We want to, no, accept orders. Um, silk. There we go. I own 15 silk. So take the silk order, accept the order. Deliver the order immediately? Yes. There we go. So we get 900 experience, 47 putty SP. And your ten thousand bucks for a profit of six thousand. Boom, Experience just like that. And people are leveling up too, just for that one order. Really should cut the episode, because the opening cutscene I tagged on to this from the last one is probably really long. But I said I was going to go to the bookstore, and so I will. Bookstore. You come to the bookstore. Is it only the one guy in here? I thought there was supposed to be two guys in here. Brother! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. To tell you the truth, my brother hasn't been back home in ages. Dot, 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 dot. Ah, uh, it's not like he's gone missing or anything. This happens all the time. One time he went out for a walk and didn't return for three months. <laughs> Sounds like way more than a walk there. He's probably out starting staring at the ocean somewhere again. Listen, travelers, if you run into my brother, could you give him this note for me? Sure, that's easy, Kay. Note from Fez. <laughs> huh? It smells kind of sweet. Oh, don't worry about that. It's nothing. Thanks again. Oh, and uh, welcome to the store. Uh, thanks. We don't really want to buy anything. We just wanted your quest. So, in the next episode, we might go find this builder. We might go find this pendant that could have washed up. Is a pendant? Is a bottle? I forget what the old, the old fishing man wanted. I forget about that. But we'll go see what he wanted and all that kind of cool stuff. And maybe we'll finish a couple of these side quests. Well, that's in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I have a cow's crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, 